Can George Clooney make another hit? Let's talk about it. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Movie Emporium's movie review of The Boys in the Boat, the newest film from director George Clooney. So The Boys in the Boat is, of course, about the University of Washington 1936 rowing team who ended up going to Berlin and winning the gold for rowing. And so this story, similar to something like Miracle, shows us a uh, coach who is, of course, played by Joel Edgerton. And one of the players that is the main player, of course, that is uh, played by Kellum Tanner. And it basically is that story. It's about how they are the underdogs or the junior varsity team. And they came from being poor individuals who end up winning gold in the Berlin 1936 Olympics. And this is that story. That's the, that's the basics of it. It's kind of the nuts and bolts of what that story is telling. So George Clooney has a very checkered past when it comes to the movies he's made, uh, not as an actor, but as a director. His first couple, The Confessions of a Dangerous Mind and Good Evening and Good Luck, uh, fantastic great showed a lot of potential one was an oscar worthy uh, film and from here on from there on out it's been kind of downhill uh he's very good at what he does when it comes to shooting and getting people in his movies but his movies have not been very good whether it be leatherheads or the monument men or midnight sky or whatever he's done it's just it's been kind of a bad thing so i went in with trepidation for boys in the boat uh it didn't look very good from the trailers. George Clooney, once again, checkered past with his directorial efforts. But you know what? It has a decent cast in it. I'm going to give it a shot. You know, heck, it's a, it's, ho it's the Oscar season. It's the holiday season. This is coming out in theaters on Christmas Day. Uh, what's my honest opinion of this movie? Well, it's not the worst thing George Clooney has done. It has some interesting things in it. But once again, it's just not a very entertaining film. It has some good rowing action. It has... I guess a plot, but it's a movie that really falls under the weight of just not good storytelling. Um, it like jumps all over the place. I think Joel Edgerton and Kellum Turner do the best they can. You know, Peter Guinness does the best he can. But these are characters that get no development. They get no kind of drive. You know, it goes beat by beat, basic storytelling elements, similar to like Miracle or, you know, Rudy, where it's the underdog crew or the underdog individual. He does stuff and they become popular. And then one of the characters, you know, ends up, you know, wanting to quit the team or the coach fires him. And it's just, it's not a very put, well put together movie. It's a very bland movie. It's a very tedious movie to watch. And I know some people really enjoyed this movie, but I'm just sitting here going, maybe it's just not George Clooney's strength. Maybe he's just not not a very talented director he he shoots movies really well with his cinematographer he's trying really hard to make interesting stories the 1936 olympic team is a very interesting story like the hockey team that you know ended up being russia and miracle but there's just something so vanilla about this movie something so uninteresting and so rote and so boring and so un tapped that it just doesn't work you know you have a movie that's like two hours or five minutes or whatever this movie's length is and it just feels like it, it just goes by the motions it feels like that george clooney is so on the cusp of having the next big movie that he is making that you get excited for his movies and it just doesn't work you know i i don't even know understand how he keeps missing like he does maybe it's just the stories that he's 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 putting together maybe it's the writers that he has in the story maybe it's you know his ambition I, I don't know but George Clooney is a much more talented actor than he's a director and if I had anything positive to say about this movie it's just it's a really pretty looking movie it really looks like an old school you know natural slash Rudy slash miracle where it is very toned down and the action set pieces are pretty well shot and pretty well put together which I do give a strength to that and I've already mentioned that that the rowing stuff is the one that kept me engaged but when he gets into the very I've seen this done this before storytelling aspect I just, uh, I don't know what else to say. It just isn't a very good movie when it comes to that aspect. And the music very bland when it comes from somebody like Alexander Desplat, which is a very talented composer in a lot of respects. Um, I don't know. I don't feel like Joel Edgerton was very well developed and Calum Turner wasn't very well developed. And I, I don't know what else to say about this movie. I just didn't have fun watching it at all. It's going to be a movie that is definitely for the older crowd. And even they might be bored by it. I don't know. It's just... It's turning into a thing where I just feel like there could be 
much better things to watch out there. They're much better, more interesting. Color Purple is one example. You know, the poor things. It's just stuff that really tries to reinvent the wheel. This tries to go old school. I just don't think it works. So I know this is a very short review. I know it's not the most comprehensive review when it comes to it, but there's nothing really to talk about this movie. You kind of, if you know anything about the 1936 Olympics with that Adolf Hitler and you know about this rowing team, if you read about it, you know they won the Olympic gold or the underdogs. But once again, you've seen this story before in different forms of fashion where it's much more interesting go watch miracle that's a much more interesting come from behind underdog you know people that aren't professionals that are playing professional kind of leagues and stuff like that and uh yeah it's it's unfortunate like i said it's the other main problem is when you focus on one main rower and then you don't focus on the other ones very well it just it doesn't work and then the, you have the you have the love interest subplot which is very road at this point it just doesn't really add anything to it so overall wasn't a fan probably most disappointing movie of the year type of movie and yeah it is what it is this is unfortunate but george clinty i'm still rooting for you man you're gonna make a movie one of these days that's gonna succeed like good night and good luck so anyways with that said that is my take on the boys in the boat the newest film from george clooney uh yeah so comments below did you see this movie are you looking forward to this movie did I deter you from watching this movie? Please don't. If you want to watch it, go see it for yourself. Just give me my honest opinion, so let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, if you like what you see on this video, awesome. Hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell top to find that's coming next. If you like the video, awesome. Hit that like button, and as always, we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.